Hi, everyone. I want to thank Unit of Consciousness for sending, sending along so many links over the years, but this one in particular, Current National Fire Advisories. This is where, you see the red in the middle of the country? These are designated red flag warnings for fires breaking out. You see Southern California? Okay, well, this is current as of today that pretty much the whole eastern edge of Colorado, the southwest corner of Nebraska, pretty much all of Kansas, north or northern Oklahoma, three quarters of Missouri, I'm sorry, and 85% of Arkansas have red flag warnings for fires. I have heard from several of you who live in this area. One, I do remember, was from Kansas. And the others, I'm sorry, I can't remember where you were from, but you did tell me that you heard on your local news the same thing that those in Southern California heard on their local news before the fire broke out. Fire warnings, dry conditions, high winds. So it's really very important for everyone now to be prepared because we are living a time of great insecurity, but that's what happens when you are at war. I would like for those who leave comments like, well, they shouldn't be living in a flood zone. Houston, it gets flooded every single year. So it's their fault for not moving. Well, Southern California, it's uh, prone to have fires. So why are people living in those areas? You know, that reveals to me that you do not understand what is happening. You do not get that these are not natural events, that these are deliberate, purposely brought about by very sick psychopaths. It reveals to me that you don't understand that we are at war and that we in this entire country, no matter where you live, are vulnerable to getting attacked. When man can control the weather, when man can, can, can create drought, when man can create extremely dry incendiary areas, when man can create flooding, can bring about hurricanes, when man can control all of the events that you are witnessing, that means that they can bring about these events anywhere, anywhere. It does not matter if you live in a flood zone or not. How many times have people been flooded and, <laughs> and because they have experienced, oh, let's say Hurricane Katrina, that they moved to Baton Rouge and specifically bought a home in a non-flood zoned area and they were flooded last year, any, any one of you are vulnerable. So I do suggest, certainly for all of you who live in this area, that you prepare now that you have that bug out bag, that you have everything that you need should you suddenly be awakened at 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night or midnight as they were in Northern California, as they were in Southern California, that you be ready, that you have your cars, the tanks full, and that you have all of the important information that you need, all the documents that you need, all the medication that you need. Uh, you have all of uh, the very important 
documentation and, and things that you need for your pets, that you have it all in one place so that you can just grab it. It's amazing that it's amazing that we are living this time and that this needs to be said, but it also needs to be said for everyone living anywhere now, anywhere. So these fires, um, firefighters battled two wildfires around the Buffalo National River. This was posted yesterday, and this is in Arkansas. So just want to point out that on these maps, okay, red flag warning, when you see the dark red, that's where fire has already broken out. So you've got a wildfire which has scorched an estimated 200 acres of land in Boxley Valley in Newtown County in Arkansas. They're battling this fire along Highway 21. Firefighters have 10% of the fires contained with high winds expected Crews are working to contain the sides of the fire that the wind will blow toward. No structures have been damaged and no injuries have occurred, which is good, which is really good. Now, do I think that they could bring about <clears throat> the kinds of fires that we are seeing in Southern California in another area of the country? Yes. Could I see mainstream media not reporting on it? Yes. Do I know for a fact that so much is going on throughout this country and I do not know what it is? Yes. Yes. We had fires um, in Oklahoma states of emergency were declared after wildfires in four states killed six and this was back in March of this year. Did you know about this? I didn't. Hurricane Harvey, the research that I was doing, I came across areas that were flooded, people lost their homes, in other areas of the country this year. Did we hear about it? No. So there's an awful lot going on that we just don't know about. And it's very hard to stay abreast of everything that is happening in this country. All of you who get your news locally, if you see things that are happening locally that you feel need to be reported, then I hope that you are sending links off to me or someone else. I just posted a video, uh, Deborah Tavares, an interview with Deborah Tavares. She lays out as she always has. That woman is able to contain so much information in her brain and uh, communicate it back out, information that we all need. She warned us in 2013 of, you know, what was to come. We are living it, we have been living it, and it's only going to get worse, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's the case. That's what we are living because we cannot get through to our fellow Americans that we are absolutely at war. It has become very, very obvious that that no, th these, uh, the events that are taking place now with all of the evidence that we have that man is absolutely controlling the weather, that we have government officials who commit treason every single day against the American people, they implementing this New World Order plan, they working for the United States, nations not for the American people and those of us who have known this and see the big picture and have been at this you know for many years and see 
the rapidity with which they are implementing these agendas now, well, I'm sure that you are feeling pretty much like I am, just sick to your stomach. And, you know, Deborah Tavares in that interview that I just posted talks about how we have been dumbed down, how they are using the frequencies for mind control. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, then I get comments from people, well, you know, you really need to have compassion because these people, you yourself said that they're controlled. Well, snap out of it. Somehow get these people snapped out of it. And we cannot get these people snapped out of it when the people surrounding them in their lives allow them to be dumbed down. We are at war. This is no joke. People are losing their lives. People are having their lives destroyed. We are at war. So yeah, I say, you know, just slap out of the mind control those who are in your life. <laughs> but it's not just mind control. It's not just mind control. It's an incredibly immature adult population that we are dealing with. The individual riddled with their own personal issues that leave them stuck in this low level of consciousness where they are all just operating for their own benefit, ego-driven, ego-driven consciousness, self-centered, in the extreme, not caring about much of anything except for their own little lives. And, you know, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to get through to people on that level. I don't know. Even those who are awake still are those with property, those with something to lose. Still, they sit back and do nothing. So, I have nothing to lose. I've lost it all. And it's very, it, it's just heartbreaking to see this happening. Uh, fire warning issued from mo for much of Arkansas and Oklahoma, December 11. Posted this morning. Forecasters say windy, dry conditions could create dangerous wildfire conditions for, mo for much of Arkansas and northern Oklahoma on Monday. Today. Red flag warnings in effect through 6 p.m. So, avoid outdoor burning. Low humidity, drought conditions. Do you know how many states are in drought conditions? Do you know how many states have dry conditions caused by the geoengineering, the aerosol spraying, chemtrails, caused by the microwave frequencies that we're all saturated in now, cell towers all over the place. So even humid South Carolina has been quite dry. So yes, unfortunately, we are under attack. Not one person is safe now. I hope you get this information out. As I've said on Kafka Winston World, you do not have to, uh, you know, circulate my videos. Clearly, if you didn't want to, you wouldn't. But I hope that I link below to everything. So I hope that you share, share the links. And I do hope everybody stays safe.